Hi, this is Simon Leung from simonleung.com and today I want to talk about an important topic that will always come up for entrepreneurs, bosses, and leaders and that's when to let someone go. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired! Whether it means when to fire someone, like an employee or staff, or a business partner, a team member, or anyone in your life for that matter. It's a highly sensitive situation that all of us goes through in the professional world. But alas, you are running a business after all, not a charity. And unfortunately in business, it all comes with the territory. So I'll go beyond my comfort zone today and address it as this is a huge part of your long-term success as an entrepreneur. You're welcome. It's another intensive leadership lesson. So without any further ado, let's do this. You had terminated. I know. Letting people go is hard. It is. And unfortunately, in my own companies, even recently, I've had to go through this process a number of times. But throughout my 20 years in entrepreneurship, I've actually had to do this countless times. And believe me, it never gets easier. It's particularly difficult when you have personally trained them yourself, put in a ton of time and effort to coach them until they finally achieve real results. Watch them grow and develop new skills to the level that you can be proud of as a mentor. People who were there with you since the beginning or the start of a certain era or were there for you at crucial moments or played a huge role in your organization or those you had envisioned will be a big part of your journey for years and years to come. But in the real world, nothing lasts forever. Journeys end, things change, people change. Nothing will always remain the same. It could be for a variety of reasons. In most cases, not all, they're not bad people. It's just that your fate with them is up. The time has gone and passed. You've outgrown them or they've outgrown you. But the good news is everything you've taught them, they will be able to actually take with them to the next venture. And whether they like it or not, you'll always be a part of their world. They will always take a piece of you with them. There's no escape. Now, there will be others whom you may need to let go for a variety of other reasons. Maybe they're toxic. Maybe they're negative. Maybe they've become greedy. It happens. Maybe they don't have what it takes to take you to your next level of business goals. Maybe they're no longer contributing the way that they used to. Maybe they weren't right for you in the first place, but it just took you a little while to realize. Hey, no one can read minds, right? Again, whether as a business partner, a mentee, an employee, or any member of your team in whatever capacity, in order for them to actually remain a valuable part of your business life and asset, it is crucial that you have someone who fills in that essential role. You need someone who is motivated, excited about the work and impact that you're making together, sees your vision and takes it as their own, self-inspired and ready to take the next big challenge and whatever it takes to achieve your team goals, understands that money should never be the main motivation or goal, but rather a byproduct and that the financial and lifestyle rewards that comes with the opportunity to work with you, to learn from you, is so much greater than the small short-term monetary gains. To be grateful to you, to appreciate you, to respect you. The moment they're not, it's time to part ways. Because without any of that, you won't have someone who is going to be loyal. And when their loyalty is gone, their motivation is gone. Their drive, gratitude, positive mentality, it's all gone. They won't do their jobs. They won't take responsibility. They won't help you solve problems. In fact, they'll only be adding to them. Simply put, they just don't fit in. Not anymore. Well, at that point, you have no choice but to let them go. Let them fly. Maybe you can consider to leave the door open Maybe one day they will have a change of mind. Maybe you may also choose to accept or not accept them back in the future, but the future is not for us to predict or speculate. You must make your own plan B and move forward because the future, well, it waits for no one. And as far as I'm concerned, the future is here. The future is now. The future is you. For anyone not suitable to be a part of your opportunities in any capacity and for whatever reason, let them go. 
there may or may not be a chance to collaborate again later on. It's rare, but it happens. Just don't hold your breath. Don't expect it. Don't count on it. Don't depend on it. Move on, move forward, onward and upwards. Your time is limited and you only have time for the very best. Never cry over spilled milk. Clean it off and get your replacements. Do what you need to do to make it the best thing for you. That's the only thing that you can do. Hope this video was helpful to you as a leader. For more upcoming value on topics like leadership, business, entrepreneurship, internet marketing, and making money online, consider to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click that bell so you won't miss the next exciting video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out any of the other videos that you see on the screen right now, and I'll catch you on the next one.